Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your October 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So uh, we are going to take a look and see the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, separated from, or to see if uh, what this person's thinking about you, what it pertains to you. So apply this to your own unique situations. You can apply this to new love, current love, and ex. Switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on, oops, notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, uh, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So tell me about Taurus. What messages do we have for, for Taurus and love? Tell me about Taurus. What's going on with Taurus and love? The person that they're dealing with, thinking of, separated from. What does this person have on their mind when it comes to Taurus for October 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus. All right, Taurus. So we have the two of pentacles here. Okay. The hierophant, Taurus energy. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. You know, I feel like there was a situation here where I feel like someone here was not really sure about you here, but I feel like this person's willing to invest time and energy into you here. They want to build a life here with you. They want to commit to you here. You know, if you guys are separated because this person was like going back and forth, you know, unsure here, you know, I do feel like we have some here that's definitely looking for a reconciliation here, Taurus, okay? So uh, could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Cancer. Okay, any of those energies here. What else do we have for the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Wands? The Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is making you a huge offer that you can't refuse here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like someone here was not ready for love was not ready for commitment at some point here because I, maybe this person was focusing on their uh, success. Maybe this person was focusing on their career here. But whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's ready for it now. We have the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords here. I don't know why I'm getting a J name, James, John here, uh, uh, Jamie. You know, I'm also getting a girl's name here, Joy. Okay, so depending on you know which sex you're dealing with here to supply this yeah i'm getting names that are coming through through here uh, with j names j names okay jill jack all right we have the uh seven of pentacles and the uh temperance card sagittarius energy so we have someone here that's definitely making an offer here looking for forgiveness here whoever this is this person is falling in love here with you you know, I feel like this person's heart is bursting with love here when it comes to you. I feel like this person is hoping that their love will maybe change your mind about how you feel about them in this very, very current moment here. Because I feel like at some point this person like walked away from you because this person was not ready. But I feel like this person could be coming back around. They're ready now. They're being guided by their intuition here. They're being guided by their emotions. Wherever their emotions are flowing, it's being guided back to you. Okay, so let's see what else do we have for, for Taurus. What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on for October 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, someone here has a change of mind, change of heart here. Okay. Some of the wands here. I feel like this person's doing everything that they can or that they're going to do everything that they can to fight for this here, to win you back here. Whatever this is, I feel like this person's definitely standing up for themselves, standing up for their convic convictions here, standing up for their feelings here, with a ten of swords. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, you could have been so hurt by this individual here that you're blocking this person out. You felt betrayed by this person, 
okay? With the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. I mean, this could be you right here. This could be you closing the door on this individual here and you turning the tables on this individual. Now I feel like now that, that you're turning the tables on this individual here, now you're walking away from this individual, this person knows exactly how you feel here, okay? Let's see what else we have here. And the Four of Cups, yeah, you're totally rejecting this person here, Taurus. This person's feeling rejected. Yeah, this person's feeling like they're not wanted by you here. And that's exactly how you felt when this person walked away from you. Tell me the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, now, that's, now this person's feeling like the shoe's on the other foot here. Now this person knows exactly how you feel. All right, with the Eight of Swords here. And the Wheel of Fortune. The Sun of Wands. And the King of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Ten of Swords. And the Three of Wands. We have someone here that's waiting for you to come back. You're basically throwing, someone here is throwing the ball in your court here. You know, waiting for you to respond here. The thing is, I feel like this person might not be getting a response here. Yeah. This person's not getting a response here. Tell me the uh, Queen of Wands. Yeah, whoever this is, this person's yearning for you, pining for you, missing you a lot here, Taurus. Okay? This person's missing you a lot. This person's thinking about you a lot. Yeah, this person's definitely approaching you, making you an offer here, a love offer. But like I said, I feel like you're rejecting this person. You're walking away from them. And they now know exactly how you feel because the shoe's on the other foot now. You're doing it to them, okay? So with the Seven of the Cups here and the Four of Cups. I mean, this person could have gone off to explore other options here, but, you know, uh, you know, th th this person realized that, you know, you are their happiness here. You are the wish fulfillment here, okay? Uh, you know, they're seeing you in very high regard here. Yeah, it just seems like this person messed up. Yeah, this person really messed up. They made a bad decision here. You know, I feel like this person's really stressed out and anxious here, okay? They're losing sleep over you. I feel like this person's not really happy at this time. Seems like they really made a bad decision here. Seems like, you know, they're realizing that, you know, what they did was not right. Yeah, it just seems like the, it just seems like the shoes on the other foot. This person realizes how you feel because now you're doing it to them, okay? And I feel like this person doesn't really like it, but I also feel like this person also understands perhaps, you know, the uh, laws of karma, the laws of the universe here, because uh, I feel like it's hitting the hitting this person quite hard here, Taurus. It's hitting this person very, very, very hard. Let's see what else we have. Eight of Wands here. Yeah, they're reaching out to you with communication here. They don't want this to end. They don't want this to be over with. But I feel like with the Death card here, you know, I feel like you believe that this is over here. Yeah, this person's like kind of like, like like left heartbroken here. And that they should have known better, you know? So, yeah, I feel like this person's like kicking themselves in the head here. Yeah, this person's ego is bruised here too, Taurus. Okay? So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.